from MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. We're underway. Intercepted Fulton. Hit. Sack! You know, regardless, you know, this is the NFL. When your numbers call, you got to go out there and make plays. Tannehill fires for Batson. Touchdown, Titans! Henry! It's, it's a long season, and we have a lot of football in front of us. Touchdown, Titans! To lick the wounds, you know, get in there, watch film, you know, correct the mistakes and you know, move on. All you can do is learn from it, watch the film, grow as players, grow as a team, and um, move forward. Nissan Stadium. I'm Lance Smith, but better, this is Mark Mariani right here. Let's go. Let's go. Appreciate you. Good, good to be here. It's good to have you back. It's Been way good, too long. Good to see you. You are always such a, a, a beam of positivity. <laughs> well, thank you. And we need it coming off of this game. You're right. After watching that film, you know, today early, I need a little beam of positivity myself. And sure. guess what? The Jacksonville Jaguars are the perfect opponent. To get a little confidence. Go down there and whoop some butt. Get our swag back. Yeah. Right. We'll get to that game. Okay. Yes, we do sir. have to talk about this game in a little bit. We'll get into that. But how have you been, sir? Good oh month. my goodness. Life is good. I yeah. got two little nuggets now. Growing those. My little man Mav, who's watching tonight. There he oh, is. Yeah, he's watching. What's up, little man? Uh, he just keeps me busy every day. We got little girl Romy there. She's, well, look at she's like, I love my little brother. And he's like, this alien's in my bed now. I'm not so sure. So they keep me busy. And so life is very good. I'm a very blessed man. And uh, now that it's football season, that's pretty much kids and, and football consume me uh, on a daily basis. So now, I don't know if you're like me when you watch from home, like I scream at my TV. My kids, like I'm a very like easygoing guy all the time, but they don't know who I am when I watch a game. <laughs> yeah, well, my little man knows when he sees that, that logo on the helmet, it's Go Titans every time. Yeah, so, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, so he knows, he knows. He's screaming right now, I'm certain of it. So. All right, what's up, little man? Yeah. All right, well, let's get into it. Let's do a little Go Titans. Let's do some uh, hot takes with Mark, and, uh, and we'll talk about... The game, because look, yeah, we lost, but there were good things that happened uh, in the game. And, and right off the bat, guys, I mean, we're watching history in the making. Derrick Henry is a legend that is currently playing. Uh, the guy had 33 carries, 157 yards, a TD, uh, two catches for 20. He is on pace for 2,100 yards. <laughs> He, this guy's a man amongst boys, man. He, he is a freak. He's like a superhero out there. So, you know, when we get things, you know, in, even in a bad game, he can go off for 33 for 157, a five-yard average almost. When we get things really clicking, he will not be stopped. There is not a single human on this planet that wants to try to tackle this guy one-on-one. -on -one. So I look forward to this season. He's an absolute beast. And there's, there's really not enough, there's, there's not enough words in the English dictionary to describe um, how good he is. And, and yeah. just he's just built different. Well, he is. And, you know, it's one thing, I mean, they, they... They said that without Julio and, and AJ, it'd be all Henry. And I know they, they looked like they were trying to limit his carries early, but towards the second half of the game when we needed him, and we got him, and they got a load of him. So it, totally. he's, he's still so fun to watch. Uh, the next, it's something to point out, one of the great things. I mean, we didn't quite get there. Zach Wilson made one too many plays, scrambling out, but the pressures are there. That front seven's working, and it's getting better. Yeah, I, I, I take any chance I get to highlight what Harold, Land, Harold Landry's been doing this year, and he deserves it, man. We've been asking for it, and he's been delivering. He's playing with his hair on fire, and, and again, he and Danico Autry in the front seven this weekend, uh, lim without Bud Dupree even, we're getting after Zach Wilson. Um, so kudos to Harold Landry because he, he, he's one of those guys who has me up out of my seat screaming yeah. at my TV, you know, let's go red face, baby. Harold Landry gets me going. So anyway, he, I love watching him this year. He's really getting after it. He's really coming into his mm -hmm. own. And again, once we get everybody healthy and back after it, sure. I can't wait to see what this front seven does because uh, there's a lot of football left to be played. Absolutely. We're, you know, we're two and two. We, we've got this thing. We're in control of the South right now. Uh, also, too, you know, Jeffrey Simmons, maybe oh, not getting too. the numbers or his name called, but he's the reason Harold Landry and Danilo Gantry are able to do their thing. So it's a complimentary effort up front. For Can't sure. block them all. Uh, and our man uh, leading, the, leading the team, Tannehill, uh, is, is doing all that he can, uh, still without his number a one receiver, spreading the ball around, throws for almost just shy 300 yards, gets a touchdown, uh, doesn't turn the ball over this game. 
you know, he's the leader we want and need. He's, right? he's become one of the most consistent players on this football team, an unbelievable leader, tough as nails. And this is the second game in a row where he ha he's had a completion to nine different receivers. That mm -hmm. is really hard to do, especially when your two guys are down. So love what he's doing and respect him. And again, even though we lost, again, you put his hand, you, you give him the ball yep. with, a, with a needing a touchdown in the fourth quarter with two minutes left, he delivers again. We've seen that, uh, you know, a bunch of times in the last two years. I got all the faith in the world, and, and uh, I know he's going to lead these troops. Yeah. Biggest key, got to keep him upright, though. Oh, Been man. on the turf 17 times. It's too many this early, right? It's too many. You can't beat be him up. He is tough as nails, like I said. But the number one thing to do, with, you got to protect this guy. Yeah. And it's a combination. We talked about it. Receivers got to get open. Line has to block. You know, uh, running backs have to pick up the blitz. So we got to take care of business. There's a lot to correct. Yeah. But moving forward. We got some big opportunities in front of us. Well, I mean, I, I really, I, I mean, obviously, I want to win every game. I really wish we had pulled out this win because without AJ, without Julio, you still got guys like uh, Jeremy McNichols stepping up, uh, Chester Rogers, Josh Reynolds. Uh, just between those guys alone, that's 19 uh, receptions yeah. right there. So, uh, next man up mentality. Always, man. I, I was always one of those guys. I was a depth player in my career. So yeah. when you get your when you get your number called. You go make plays, and that's what those guys are doing. They play with a chip on their shoulder. It's fun to watch. I love seeing them make plays out there. So, you know, we're always in good hands. We got enough horses in the stable to get things done. Uh, just more consistency probably, but it's good to see these numbers those guys are putting up. And hopefully, yeah. hopefully the big dogs are back out there, but if not, we're in good hands. Hey, 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 hey. Vrabel has a, a superb history of coming off of losses, so <laughs> I'm – Looking forward to this game coming up. All right, we got more uh, Titans Blitz to talk about, more Titans football to talk about right now. Here's some Nissan memorable moments. Stick around. <laughs> Titans Blitz will be right back. Screens it out, Nick Nichols. Picks up a block to the 45. Turns the corner to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, to the 35. And he's finally pushed out of bounds by Carter. Guess what? That's enough for a first down. And Jeremy McNichols with a smooth move. Play fake. Wilson with a deep drop. Throwing. Intercepted Fulton. That ball looked like it was thrown right to Christian Fulton. To the Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. Lance and Mark back with you. Uh, this game this weekend, watched it like everybody else, uh, or a lot of people at home, on the couch, taking it in with the family. My daughter and I, we watch we watch football together. You, you got kids? I got kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my daughter Maggie and I, we, we watch these games together. Now, she's almost four, so she's just kind of learning the ropes. There's Maggie right there. Aww. My pride and joy. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, look at her. Well... Watching the pregame show, though, I got a little worked up because we're going to this game against the Jets. We're coming. We're hot. We're two, two wins in a row. Seattle, Colts. Got this thing. NFL Today, uh, Bill Cowher, uh, every, before the games, always picks his upset of the week. And his upset of the week was Jets over Titans. Oh, I to which it. I tweeted this because I was feeling froggy. I said, Bill Cowher just picked the Jets over the Titans in an upset. I will rename my youngest daughter Bill Cowher if this happens. Notice the time. It's 12.51 p.m. This is Eastern, so this is just before kickoff. Mark, yeah, I said that. Ah, we all know what happened. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh, you know, no. I'd like to be a man of my word, and I had to, I had to let Maggie know. A little something like this. I want to be Gecko. Okay. Thank you, Bill. I'm not Bill. You're not? No. No, I, I have to call you Bill. That's, no, I I made a promise, honey, and I have to call you Bill. So but why? Will you call me Maggie? You I can't call you Bill Cower? Because you're a real cute Bill Cower. No. That hurts my heart. See, Twitter, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she oh said, it hurts my heart. Uh, well, anyway. Hey, that is a man of his word right yeah, there, right? okay? <laughs> so I've been calling her little Bill Cower. It's the whole name. Uh, she hates it still. But, you know, I, I'm a man of my word. However, the real Bill Cower uh, got word of it, and he's, uh, he wants to chat with Maggie and I this week. So maybe next oh, week, next week's show, I'll give you a little update, <laughs> let you know how it goes. So oh. be careful writing checks yeah. that your children have to catch. And I hate that we made him write. Yeah, yeah you don't want to get them involved. Right. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love you, Maggie. 
<laughs> Moving on, uh, keeping in the theme of kids, one of my uh, favorite uh, segments here on the show, well, we asked a certain local child artists to draw their favorite Titans players to see if uh, our Titans could see who it is. Okay. So Let's from uh, six-year-old Beckett, here is this week's Vague Van Gogh. All right, this is Beckett. Beckett drew this one. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Whoever drew this picture, whatever kid drew this picture, is, is gonna be an amazing artist. You know, he's gonna be one of the top, one of the best ever in the world. So keep scribing. Sunday afternoon, you know, sun at its highest point. Blue eyes, he's holding football. Nice shoes. Football in his, in his hand, he's throwing it. Everybody yeah, drawing, I can get, say, five, six years old. You, you got a lot of talent, man. You got a lot of talent. That's Ryan Tannehill. Titans jersey, pants, cleats. Gotta be Tannehill. Throwing a football. Ryan Tannehill. Looks like he's throwing a ball. I see uh, brown hair, blue eyes. I feel like this is number 17. Gotta be me. I told you, I know my quarterback. All right, Beckett, who do you got? It is, after all, me. Thanks, Beckett. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Becky. You know, I, I hadn't seen it yet either myself, and I know you hadn't, and instantly, Mark's like, yeah, it's Tannehill, because he's throwing the ball. It was such great artwork. It was so, I mean, it was so beautifully done. Looks like Tannehill. I saw the football getting thrown. I mean, there is, it was Woodside, Matt Barkley, maybe, but then the brown hair, you know. Whatever. I think that Tannehill's people should call the uh, football card companies and just have that image replaced <laughs> yeah. with his football card. We're making t-shirts. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, hey, stick around. We've got more Titans Blitz on this side, including the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Play along at home. Win some prizes from your kitchen. Right. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. To the Titans Blitz. You feeling lucky? Yeah. Yeah, oh, they're nervous. <laughs> it is time now for my new favorite installment on this show. We're here live at Nissan Stadium. It's time to play the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Roll it. Yes, it sounds spooky, and that's just, yes, that's not, has nothing to do with Halloween. It's just because this game is, is terrifying. Right. Uh, let's start over here to my right. Cherie, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm excellent. You say you're from, you're from Nashville? Yes, born and raised. Season ticket member? Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you got a, you're, are you wearing your favorite Titan of all time, or do you have um, a favorite I'd, Titan of all time? I just, my favorite Titan of all time was Baronis. Oh, Aww. Rob Baronis? Yep. Oh, man, we miss Rob Baronis. Yes. Absolutely. I love him. Absolutely. He was a great man. Gave us on some and off the field. great memories, yes, on and off the field as well. Uh, thank you for being here, Sheree. Absolutely, thank Good you. Good luck to you. And Erica. Hi. I asked Erica where she was from in Tennessee. She said Tennessee. <laughs> and she said in the country, and you know what that means. All right, I got it, I got it. But you're a season ticket member as well, right? I am. Yeah, you got a favorite Titan player? Um, Steve McNair was. McNair. Totally. Man, yeah, wow, great man. You got a favorite Titan moment? No. Oh, you gotta say that. I know. You know what? The favorite Titan when we win the Super Bowl this year. All right, let's uh, let's do this thing. It is time now to play the Titan Trivia Gauntlet. Uh, Erica won our coin toss that happened five seconds before we came back from commercial break. So Erica, you're gonna go first. We'll go back and forth. Prizes up for grabs. Here we go. It's multiple choice. Don't get nervous, Erica. First question's for you. Which head coach has the most wins in Titans Oilers franchise history? Is that Jerry Glanville, Jeff Fisher, Bum Phillips, or Jack Party? Jeff Fisher for the win. You Jeff Fisher for the win, she says, yes. <laughs> Question number one goes to you. All right, see how this goes. You got one point. Cherie, next to you. What position other than quarterback did Ryan Tannehill play at Texas A&M? Tight end, wide receiver, safety, or place kicker? Tight end, wide receiver, safety, or place kicker? Tight end. He unfortunately was not a tight end. He was a wide receiver. You know what? If he played basketball and was a tight end, that's all you'd ever hear about yeah. when they watch games. Yeah, all right, true. moving on. Uh, you're up a score here, Erica. <laughs> Try to add to the lead. Your question is, what officiating signal would include placing a hand on each hip? Is that illegal motion, delay of game, offside, or pass interference? 
legal motion, delay of game, offside or pass interference. It's doing this. Offside. Offside, man. We could use you in a game, I think. My We've goodness. had some rough calls this year. Two points to you. Got to catch up, Sheree. Here we I go. I need an easy one. <laughs> you want an easy one? See how easy this is. Ooh. <laughs> See? Do some math. Jersey math. Julio Jones' jersey number plus Nick Westbrook Aquino's jersey number equals what player's jersey number? Oh, jeepers. <laughs> so is that Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry, Kevin Byard, or Bud Dupree? <laughs> Do you know their jersey numbers and what they add up to? I don't know a Kenny's number. It's tough, right? You want to show off, don't you? No, I'm a shield. You don't want to show off? All right, it's actually, so you're looking at two, two. plus Westbrook Aquino has 15. Yeah. That adds up to 17. That adds up to Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. Yeah. Sorry, all right, moving on, moving on, <laughs> moving on. Last question. Final question. This is worth two. This is worth two. You have to go first, though. Here we go. Erica, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. In 2016, which opponent did Derrick Henry score his first NFL touchdown against? His first NFL touchdown. Was that the Jaguars, the Ravens, the Colts, or the Lions? <laughs> Worth two points. Ravens. Ravens, what say you? What say you, Cherie? I'll say the Lions. You can say the Lions. The answer is actually upcoming opponent, the Jaguars. Yes. Oh. But... Erica, you are our winner for the Good Titans job, Trivia Gauntlet. Congratulations. <laughs> One mini helmet son by AJ Brown oh goes to God. you. Amazing. Keep that right there. Stick That's around. Awesome. We've got more Titans Blitz all on the other side. We've got to talk about this Jaguars game. We'll be right back. Smith, Mark Mariani back with you live from Nissan Stadium, wrapping up the show here, but we do have a big game coming up Sunday in Jacksonville on the road again. Uh, you know, I, hey, some news to point out. Uh, AJ practiced today. Bud Dupree practiced today. Darrington Evans practiced today. Guys, getting back into it? Hey, we need, we need all of our weapons, man. We, we got a great, very, very talented roster. Some of the most superstars that I've been around when this, you know, since I've been around this organization. So getting everybody healthy is pivotal. Uh, and we got a big test coming up. And, and to me, it has nothing, this game has nothing to do with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay. This game has everything to do with the Tennessee Titans. You prepare and show us, show us what kind of team you're going to be in 2021. Yeah. And I think they, they got some film to watch. They have some corrections to make. Yeah. Uh, but this opponent, someone we should take care of, yeah. it's all about how our mentality is when we get off the bus. And so that's what I want to see out of this group. And I personally, because I am... You know the driver of the uh, the fan bus. I think we're gonna get you. Know, I think we're gonna take care of business. But this is about the Tennessee Titans. We got we got beat down on Sunday against the Jets. We got to go take care of business in Jacksonville. Well, talk about that from your mindset as a Tennessee Titan. So when you're playing, you're in the pros. I mean, is there is there a real mindset of coming off a loss? Do you play that much harder? And do we know that? I mean, look, the Jags are in a PR nightmare right now, and they're not winning. So, but I mean, look, when the game starts. 20, you know, 11 men across from you. Those guys want to play. Let's, yeah, let's be very clear about this. This is the NFL. Yeah. It is extremely hard to get a W in the NFL. Mm -hmm. These are the most competitive dudes on the planet, the best in the world at what they do. It's very hard to do. But I'll tell you what you do with an opponent like this is you get off the bus and like what we used to say, you punch them in the mouth. You mm -hmm. punch them in the mouth in the first quarter and you give them no doubt. Because what we did against the Jets is we let them linger. We let them sit around to the fourth quarter. They make a couple, you know, on the run plays to beat us. Yeah. With the Jacksonville Jaguars, all the stuff that they're going through, us coming off a loss, they're backed up in a corner. Yeah. You go hit them first and get that little guy in the back of their heads, you know, wanting to hit the showers. You know, you get that, that guy talking and you yeah. knock him out of the game in the first half, first quarter, and you go get back on the bus and you go take care of business. That's what you do to an opponent like this. Looking at another rookie QB, but the franchise in, yeah. in Trevor Lawrence, Lawrence, just keep the pressure up, right? I mean, we're getting there, but we got to close the deal. Yeah, exactly. This guy is a winner. He's been a winner his whole life. He will beat you if you give him an opportunity to beat you. You got to make his day miserable. Get after him. If he wants to tuck that ball and run, you hit him every single time. He's very dangerous with, dangerous with his legs. He'll throw you the ball like we're seeing right here. Yeah. Uh, but you got to hit this guy all day. He's down a couple of his weapons as well, right? He, he's got some issues in their locker room. You got to make his day miserable. You know, I'd like to see us do a little rebuttal here and get seven sacks on, on Trevor Lawrence this right. weekend. So yeah. Let, let, let's send him to the ice tub early. Okay, right. Look, 
the guy's got talent. He's going to be in the league a long time. I, you know, every time he's on the field throwing an interception, they say, "Well, you know, Peyton did this a hundred times his first season." Uh, that doesn't matter. It's it's it doesn't matter. If he's a rookie or he's played 15 years. Yep. Get after him. And like I said, all that matters to me is the Tennessee Titans mindset and what is our identity going to be in the 2021 season. We got to go win this game. We got to win this football game. It's a must win this weekend. Hey, uh, Grable, uh, he's for hire for motivational speaker in the locker room. Mark Mariani, thank you for being Let's here, go. sir. Thank you all for being here. Keep it loud and proud. We will see you next week right here. Same place, same channel. Titans West. I'm Lance Smith. This is Mark signing off. See you next week. Tighten up, baby. Come on.